Hi guys. Today I am going to be reviewing recent boy group comebacks which I found particularly interesting. I included only the comebacks which really drew my attention and I had enough opinions about to write about them. So if your fave isn't in here then sorry. I just didn't have any strong feelings about their comeback. And remember that everything is just my opinion and not everyone has to be a fan of everything. Whether you agree or disagree, leave your opinions in the comments below. I'll be going in chronological order. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I thought of when I saw the music video for Raiden was wow. SM dropped a lot of money on this, didn't they? Everything about this comeback screams high budget. The song sounds almost overproduced, like they just spent more money to cram more effects in there. The music video is also high budget, but I don't mind it in that case. The stages had expensive motorcycles on them. All of that adds up to a comeback that must have been very pricey to make but just okay to listen to. I really liked this song when it came out, but now we're almost 2 months later and it hasn't aged well. I guess you could say that you can only listen to. So many times before you start to get a headache. The concept seemed like they were trying to be badass and picked all the most cliche badass things, which only made it look like they tried too hard. I vastly prefer their song Boom, which was amazing. Stream Boom. I do have one positive thing to say about this comeback, though. The dance. Whoa. The dance is really cool and fits the song so well. My favorite part is... That's all I've got for this one. Next. I really liked TXT's debut and their last comeback with Runaway, so I was excited for this release, but this comeback was just not it. TXT had a unique charm and were doing a playful concept when all the other boy groups were shifting to a darker concept, so I thought that the playful and innocent teen concept would be their trademark. Now they've abandoned it and gone with a dark concept like every boy group seems to be doing these days. If this were the concept they debuted with I might not mind, but I'm sad that they lost their old style. On its own, the song isn't bad, although the stylistic autotune is a bit much. Big Hit has been going ham on the autotune effect lately, but I think it's rather unnecessary, as I'm sure the members are quite good singers and the song doesn't really need it from a style perspective. I like most of the lyrics, except... Which would be fine if it was said one time but they repeat it ad nauseum and that just makes me think of the cringy emo teen stereotype. The music video was good. It delivered the message with high production value from that sweet sweet BTS cash. I am a big fan of the dance. As always TXT has great choreo. I couldn't care less if they actually sing live at music shows when they're doing a dance as complicated as that. That's all I have to say about TXT. Next. I think that when it comes to making NCT 127 comebacks the SM executives have resorted to randomly spinning wheels to figure out what to do because they keep getting weirder and weirder. I for one am a big fan of NCT 127's techie concept. The concept and song for Superhuman were the peak of that concept, and I was so excited for what they were going to put out next but ever since then it's just been going downhill. So to fit the tech concept they decided to add these weird noises. And that's fine by me. I guess it fits the concept. But then they start to whisper sing. This is just my opinion. But whisper singing is really annoying. Like you're trying to listen to a song and they just start whispering all of a sudden. But they have to whisper loudly to match the volume of the song and you don't know whether to raise the volume you're listening at or just leave it. Also, the loud shouting parts don't match the whisper singing at all. At least in Kick It the whole song was loud and shouting. I didn't like it but I understood what they were going for and why other people would like it. But this was just a mishmash of random elements. Like they wanted to make a new style of song but SM said that they needed to still keep their old style. I really hope they release something like Superhuman in the future because that was peak NCT 127. Okay so I know most of this video has been NCT units, 
And I'm sorry about another one but this is the last one. Actually, does Wavy count as an NCT unit? Do they even count as K-pop? Well, I recognized some of the guys from NCT in there and they performed on music shows so I'm counting it in this review, at least. This comeback was good, it wasn't mind blowing, but it met required standards. My favorite song from Wavy was Moonwalk so I'm glad that they released a similar song. The music video was good and so was the dance. My favorite part was definitely... I saw the stage where Ten had a bad voice crack. And honestly, props to all of them for even trying to sing live while having to do such a hard dance. He shouldn't get hate for the voice crack, he should get applause. In terms of the concept this was pretty much a generic badass concept. I feel like all the NCT units just get more and more similar in terms of concept as the years go on. Like every unit started out with a unique concept but now we're just converging to the generic badass boy group with leather jackets. I guess that's what SM decided would make the most money so now they're just putting out the same thing over and over again. And it's quite obvious because unlike other boy groups which debut with a badass concept so you know that's what they're going for, all the NCT groups just magically switched their concept to it when it became popular. I'll stop hating on their concept now, next. So you know how I was praising boy groups which stick with their dark concepts? Well, Stray Kids is the perfect example of that. I am not really a fan of the dark concept itself, but I admire them for sticking to it. But I do have some things to say about the song. It was amazing. I love rap and Stray Kids have a really good rap line and might be a rap based group. I am not sure about that so correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, the rap was great. My favorite part was... But that's also tied with And I don't know the names of these people but the guy that started off the song spits fire All I have to say about this song is that it is so hype you have to be in a specific mood and be ready to jump around if you listen to this song. Because you will want to jump around after you listen to it. I have zero clue as to what the lyrics mean, even after reading the English subs, but I don't really care. Hype lyrics never make much sense anyways. The stages were great, they were performing live, which is always neat, and the dance was extremely good. It didn't strike me as the most complicated dance but I don't mind because they're singing live and the moves that they do end up doing are great for hyping up the crowd. Not that there is one these days. I might have to learn the dance too. Just so I can jump scare people with it. I only knew 1 minute clips of Stray Kids music from my religious playing of Superstar JYP but I will definitely have to check them out further after listening to this comeback. Gravity is a group that just did the opposite of what NCT Dream did. They went from a dark concept to a cute concept. I don't know if this really counts as a comeback because they're just promoting a b-side from their debut mini album. But I liked it so that's why it's in here. I will admit that I found it very strange that they went from dark to cute. I really thought they were evolving backwards. But then I looked at their ages and half of them are still teenagers so I guess it makes sense. Cloud 9 is a song that you should listen to if you're sad. It is such a cheery song that I think you would be smiling after listening to it with just the audio. And then add the MV where the guys are basically chasing each other around on a sunny day and you end up wondering why you can't be happy like that. I saw this video where they performed Break All The Rules and then performed Cloud 9 in different outfits and wow. There is a huge difference. I don't know how those guys can go from performing a dark concept to a cute concept in such a short amount of time, but good job. As for the group itself, I don't have much to say. They're newly debuted so we will have to wait a year or so to see if they live up to expectations. I will say that their name is kind of weird and sounds like Cavity, but if you're Korean you wouldn't know that so it makes sense. Best of luck to them in the future. Next. Nothing, right, nothing, right, nothing, right, nothing, right, nothing, right.
This is a bit unrelated but isn't it amazing how they sold over, or just about, 500,000 albums on the first day with this? When I saw that number, I was totally shocked. Good for 17 that they're selling that many. They are going to have to split the profit among 13 members after all. As for the actual song, I was pleasantly surprised. I was a big fan of 17's earlier style along the lines of oh my but then they started to go for darker concepts like every boy group ever and I thought they would continue in that direction. But left and right blended the bright and dark styles to make a song that was just right. They did copy the entire instrumental of the Cupid Shuffle. To make the song. But I guess that was the theme they were going for. The left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Was very repetitive at the end. But that's the only criticism I have. Also, the fade out at the end was something I haven't seen in K-pop in a long time. The performance they did on their comeback show was extremely enjoyable. As usual they took advantage of their numbers to make a big performance. And since there was no audience, they had a lot of freedom with the camera angles and everything. Which made for a great performance. There isn't much else to say about Seventeen. They are just doing their own thing as usual. Alright guys, so that's all I've got for this comeback review. I am a girl group stan, but boy group comebacks are still music and I always check them out whether I stand the group or not. Be sure to give all the songs in this video a listen so you can form your own opinions, and leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.